Keith Slater to come forward and help with the inquiry. Just outside Hessel, there's a wooded area called Little Switzerland. On Friday morning, Keith and his family walked down there for a picnic. Here we go. See, both go in the end. Very good, isn't it? Keith had no driving lessons that morning because his car was in for service. But by lunchtime, he'd picked up his car and called into the driving school. He was self-employed and had been franchised to the school for the past 16 months. Keith was a keen rugby player who almost always wore his Hessel rugby club tie and sweater while at work. Get yourself comfy. Make sure your mirror's okay. That's. You just follow the road round. That's it. Now careful. That's it. That's fine. He's got right away. He's coming first. That's smashing. That evening at 8:30. Keith's wife, Carol, finished work. she just started a part-time job as a cashier. There was a sale on at home base, and she'd had a difficult and busy evening. I had to remember all those codes. I had to print on codes every time I came up with the stuff. Oh. Just before nine, after a little bit of shopping, they arrived at their home on Bon Accord Road. The children were staying the night with their grandmother. So the two of them came back to an empty house. But 18 months ago, Ted blocked his drawbridge for the last time and moved here to this... After dinner, Keith and Carol spent a quiet evening watching television. But shortly after 10.30, Carol, who wasn't interested in the programme, went to bed. I'm going up now. An hour later, at 11.30, Keith went up too. At midnight, in Northgate, this pub barman was walking home. Can you tell me the way to Bonacord Road? I don't know, sorry. A few minutes later, at Andy Carr's taxis, close to Hessel Square. Alpha 18, 210 Buffet Road, to the Silver Card. Can you give me directions to Bonacord Road? Yes, if you go to the top, turn left. Follow the road down, and it's first on your right-hand side. Is it past the Norland pub? No. The witnesses describe this man as stocky, with crew-cut hair, and in his 20s or early 30s. If it was you, please call us straight away to be eliminated from this inquiry. Is it the police? The police? Keith Slater. Here. Keith! No! No! The screams were heard by a couple walking home a block away. They thought it was a party. The couple then saw a young man in a dark coat come out of Bonacord Road. At 12.25, a man was sighted heading towards the footbridge which spans the railway line and Clive Sullivan Way. It's now six weeks since the murder, and police are still anxious to trace everyone who knew Keith Slater and those who learned to drive with him. In particular, they'd like to hear from one young woman. A blonde girl was seen with him several times between February and July at the National Pub on National Avenue in Hull. She was petite, described as stunning, and witnesses remember that she wore a good deal of gold jewellery. Was this you, or do you know who she was? She and Keith were also seen here in Cottingham. She was aged around 20, was smartly dressed, and may well have carried a briefcase. 
There's another woman detectives need to trace. On the day before the murder, a rugby friend of Keith's flashed his lights at Keith's car on First Lane Anlaby. It was about quarter to nine in the morning. Although Keith's diaries show no lessons booked for that time, a woman with fair or brownish hair was driving the car. Do you know who she was?